Okay, so let's look at your Zoom recordings and how do you edit them with the Zoom platform. So in your Zoom account, you would this is where you would go to adjust the settings for your meetings. You click on recordings and then you can pick your cloud recordings or your local recordings. So uh, we'll look at that at another time, but right now we'll first look at the cloud recordings and what to do with them. So you've got Let's just pull these files here. And this is also where you get your shareable link. Now to edit it, you click on the file itself with the, and then what you do is you click this little scissors here for set playback range. So when you click this, this will come up and it's not gonna affect the recording, but it's going to impact what you are sharing with that shareable link. Um, and that's what it, this is explaining here. So we've got that. And then this will pop up so that you can adjust that for whatever you want your start time to start at and where your end time will be. So we'll clip off then that beginning and end part, perhaps that you don't want to be sharing. Um, so for example, if this was the full recording, You'll see here it's two minutes and 20 seconds. But when I change the start time from the beginning and the end, and then I save that, it changes this amount here at the lower left to a minute and 46 seconds. So once I have done that, I can download the files or in that recording here, copy shareable link. I can take a look here and it is the, the shorter time frame. Um, so it will send people to that recording in your room. So that's how you edit the, the cloud recording. Now let's just take a look at the recordings here, go to local recordings. So you will have a Zoom folder on your your laptop. Let's open that up. Open Zoom meetings and just take a look here. So the playback, um, sometimes I pulled the actual files out of this folder to edit it in another location, but let's see here. All right, so here's an example. I um, opened a file. You'll see these kinds of things, probably just one file. Open that up and, and then I'm just taking a look here. If it gives me the option, I can edit and create. I can trim right here. And when I trim that, it, the same thing applies where I'm pulling the start time over from the, the white dot here and the end time as well. And then I can save as a new file if I'm saving it elsewhere on my desktop, rename it. And then you have an MP4 file uh, to share or post um, on YouTube, maybe a private shareable link or on your website elsewhere as well. So there is that option too. Uh, to edit. I'm going to just cancel here. So again, when I go into a file, open it up, I just go up right, to the top it. right so here, edit and create, and it gives me different options. Um, so trim is probably what you're looking for. You just adjust the white little circle at the beginning and the end to trim it and then save that file as that. Um, as well. So that, um, those are the two ways you can edit your recordings. Um, if you're looking at your cloud recording, you just open up the file and trim right there. Or if you're looking at local recordings, it's just slightly different. I hope that helps. This is Patricia Regeer with Regeer Educational Services.